Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Laker basketball here with the late night video. But I want to get my thoughts on this Alonzo Ball triple-double in Milwaukee. Um, let's talk about that. Uh, Lakers fall to Milwaukee, 98-90. to Lose our third game in a row. On the road. It's been a tough road trip. So far, we play Phoenix. Our next game, that, that seems like a game that we might have a chance to win. Let's see if we can do better. But the big um, story of the night was Lonzo Ball's um, coming out party, if you will. Lonzo, everybody's been talking about Lonzo Ball um, over the last few games. And really, if you think about it, it's all about his shooting percentage. It's been about, um, you know, Lonzo Ball going 3 for 15 or 2 for 12 or whatever the percentage. It, it's a low percentage. Lonzo historically is shooting low from the three-point range. And so everyone's talking about that. Outside of that, he's been doing everything really well. Passing, rebounding, defending, running the team, pace, everything, okay? Um, so it's all been about his field goal percentage. Tonight makes history. Youngest player to um, post a triple-double. I mean, it's not surprising for those of us who are on Lonzo's side and see his talent. We see this in him. Um... And for the most part, it's really just Lonzo being in a funk shooting three-pointers. Uh, outside of that, you know, and we're, we've been on a tough road trip. Outside of that, Lonzo's been playing pretty well and everything else, um, which is kind of crazy. But um, so Lonzo Ball posts a huge triple-double tonight. Um, let me talk about that. So he has 19 points, 11 rebounds. I thought he had 12 rebounds, but they credit him for 11 rebounds officially, 13 assists. He was 7 of 12 from the field, um, 3 of 5 from the 3. I actually posted a tweet saying that Lonzo Ball, realistically, he should be on a 2-miss maximum, 2-miss cap from the 3-point range, meaning you can shoot as many 3-pointers as you want. Uh, when you get to 2 misses, limit the 3-pointers at that point. So do everything else. That that was my way of avoiding trying to get, um, get Lonzo to avoid going 1 for 7 two for nine, you know, from the three-point line, right? So, um, ironically, he kind of listened to my tweet, although he probably didn't, you know, uh, you know, just ended up that way, but it seems like it, right? Um, so Lonzo has 19, 11, 13. Really good field goal percentage. He only took 12 shots, uh, two of four from the line. And get this, here's the, here's the stuff I really like. Lonzo had three steals. And he had four blocks. And he was plus 10 in the plus minus stat. Lakers lose by eight. Okay? Now think about that. In addition, the four blocks. He had four blocks in D.C. when we played the Wizards. A guard having four blocks each, or each night. Four blocks against the Wizards. Four blocks tonight against the, the, against the Bucks which tells you he's he's putting in effort on D and also it tells you he plays really good defense all right and what's going to go unnoticed Lonzo had a big triple double tonight everyone's going to say yeah the youngest player to post a triple double but Lonzo Ball's defense whether you see the game or not Lonzo Ball is showing good defense and I mean he's showing excellent defense in a sense that his basketball IQ is so high, or his defensive IQ is so high, it's being noticed every single game. Now, Lonzo Ball's deep, the reason why I say, and I've been talking about this in other videos, Lonzo Ball's defense, he doesn't have locked down, pick your pocket type defense, like Kawhi Leonard, like that type of defense. He has high basketball IQ defense, meaning like if he's defending a guy one on one, he knows what to do. Um, and he knows what to do without fouling you, and he's not going to get in trouble. Lonzo Ball is showing that he can switch on one, twos, threes, and fours, and sometimes even fives. If he switches on a five that's not um, that's not really skilled, he can kind of man that five for a little bit. But if the if the guy is kind of skilled a little bit, they can kind of bully him, uh, like Marquise Morris did the other night. I think he switched on Marquise Morris and he kind of like <laughs> elbowed Lonzo in the head and like dunked the bar or something like that. Um, so there'll be times where Lonzo switches on a big like that, but um, and he gets beat. But there's times where he switches and he actually defends that five spot 
for the fourth spot really well. Like tonight, there was a moment where um, Greek um, Ante DeCumpo um, had Lonzo one on one very early in the game. Lonzo deed him up, and Greek is like the, one of the best players in the NBA right now. And he actually tried to, and he's muscular, tried to body Lonzo and actually had to pass the ball back out. That's how well Lonzo plays good defense right now on that. He played it played it well in that stint, and he played it. You, there's probably like 20 other instances where he played. He got beat, I think, a couple times by Eric Bledsoe and came back and blocked Eric Bledsoe. These are like really good NBA basketball players, and you're talking like from a rookie in Lonzo Ball playing good defense against these guys. Um, you know, so he... He played, in my my opinion, plays really good one-on-one -on -one defense in the post. Um, he knows how to keep his hands down. He knows how to affect a three-point shot. Uh, a lot of times when guards are going up for three-point shots, he knows how to get in your space without fouling and without actually putting his hand up. It's, it's you gotta watch it. I gotta like break down these. these I gotta. I, I'm I'm on his defense so much. I need to break down. Really do like, not just a ghetto version of a video breakdown I need to do a really good breakdown to show you the exact moves that Lonzo Ball is doing that he's doing that's affecting jumpers affecting guys in the post it, it's like unbelievable how well how good Lonzo's defense is so not only am I impressed with the passing we've been seeing that all year we've been seeing the rebounds all year Lonzo can average above 10 points all right so it's not unforeseen for him to get a triple double it's the other stuff in my opinion that i'm impressed with so lonzo is not a problem so whether this is going to get the haters or whatever to come off lonzo's still gonna you know you're gonna have a bad shooting night he's gonna have a poor field goal percentage night um there'll be nights where um you know he doesn't get off well and tonight he seemed to seem to have it maybe it was in front of jason kidd maybe he was just feeling it tonight um and 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 that's what we're going to get from Lonzo. So um, I'm, I'm happy that this came about because we needed a moment. Like yesterday, he what, he had 10, 8, and 8. Or the end of the night, he had 10, 8, and 8. Where uh, we were like, come on, Luke. Let Lonzo get a triple-double. And so, you know, he needs to get some of these wins under his belt so that um, we can feel good about, our, about ourselves. I know. Um, also, um, throw in Kyle Kuzma. I think he, I think he had what twenty one and eleven. Yeah, yeah, twenty one and eleven. Um, Brandon Ingram, you know, didn't bring it tonight. Had eight points. He was a negative twenty in the plus minus stat, you know. And then Brook Lopez, you know, I'm disappointed in him and what he's done on the road so far. Really disappointed in Brook Lopez and KCP and you know his his shot selection. In my opinion, is is it bugging is bugging me, you know. Um, Julius Randle. Has been playing well uh, for the most part um, on the on the road. You can't deny that, and you know he's playing really well, which I'll probably talk about him in another video, probably tomorrow or so. Um, and Jordan Clarkson, but outside of that, um, Julius played well. Um, Kuzma and and Lonzo, and we we're struggling. The other thing that's hurt us this this game and and some of the other games is Luke, Luke Walton's rotations. I mean, we all see it. We don't know what's going on with Luke Walton's rotation. Sometimes, I think he leaves <clears throat> he leaves some of the the second unit in too long. He pulls uh, he pulled Lonzo out early. Yeah, he 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 saw that Lonzo had a hot hand and he played him the rest of the game. Played him a heavy minutes tonight, 20, 39 minutes, which is great. Um, but he pulled Lonzo early, which we were kind of like at a good pace with Milwaukee. And it totally took the win out of our sail. He pulled Lonzo out early when Lonzo actually was hot. Lonzo was like 6-3-3 three, and three <clears throat> to start the game. And we were tied, I think, with Milwaukee. He gave Lonzo a rest. I don't know what for. Um, and Milwaukee kind of went on a run at that point. And prior to that, Lonzo was playing really good defense and, and really running the team. So we all got on, on Luke Walton for that. But, you know, we'll see. All right. Um, on to another day. Let's see what, how we do in uh, Phoenix. Uh, hopefully we can get a win there and then go back home. Anyway, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on Lonzo Ball's uh, triple-double, your feeling about tonight, and, and, and what you think this means for Lonzo and going forward. 
Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MikeSportsLA. Talk soon, guys. Peace.